If you are what you say you are A superstar Then have no fear The camera's here Hey YouTube, welcome back to Jerry's NBA Talk TV I'm NBA Jerry and thank you for watching I wanted to talk to you guys for a minute uh, about looking up to people and having heroes. Uh, I want to tell you guys a quick story. I had a young man recently tell me that he wanted to be just like Kobe Bryant and be in the NBA. And I said, really? He said, yeah. I said, well, why is that? He said, well, because I love the NBA and I love watching it. And it looks like a lot of fun to be in the NBA. And, you know, Kobe's the best player in the, in the, in the world. And I love watching his games. And he's just, he's just awesome, man. He's so cool. I said, okay, you want to be just like Kobe? He said, yeah. I said, all right, fine. I tell you what, let's start tomorrow by getting up at 4.30 in the morning. He said, what? I said, yeah. He said, why do I got to get up at 4.30 in the morning? I said, well, if you want to be like Kobe, you got to work hard. You know, there's a lot of things that Kobe Bryant does uh, in the dark or when no one's around that you don't see him do when the lights are on. You see, because we all see him you know, during the game, you know, and after the game when he's signing autographs and you see him, you know, on TV, you know, doing different things, but you don't see how hard he works. And then I went on to explain to him about all the different things he does. And he says, wow, I didn't realize he had to put that much work in. I said, well, Kobe Bryant isn't who he is on accident. You know, he puts a lot of, lot of hard work in. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about. See, it's okay to want to have a hero. That's fine. There's no problem with that. But when you have a hero, make sure you pick the right one. It's good to want to have a hero. They give you motivation. You know, put their pictures up on the wall, study them, do everything you can to find out how they live their lives, how they how they go about their business, and how they became who they are. So don't just sit there and admire them and be in awe of them. So what you do is you let your hero's lives inspire you to become like them. I mean, they're only people just like us. They're not robots. They're not aliens. They're, they're human beings just like me and you. But the difference between them and us is they had a lot of self-discipline. If you look at guys like Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, the guys standing behind me, you know, Michael Jordan, guys like that, they had self-discipline. And I've told you this before, guys, no matter what kind of choices you make in regards to what you want, and if it's just like being your hero or doing what they want to do, uh, you're going to have either one or two pains. And I told you this before in my self-discipline video. Either the pain of self-discipline or the pain of regret. Because remember, self-discipline weighs ounces. Regret weighs tons. So do what you got to do. Don't look up to your hero. Look through them. You can become better than them. And don't look at them like they're just doing something that you can't do. And I told you this before. You can do anything you want to do. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. The only one that can stop you from doing something is you. So when you're looking at your hero, study them, read books about them, find out everything you can about that person. And like I said before, don't just look up to them. Look through them. And if you do that, not only will you succeed, you may even become better than them. Take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you soon. And don't forget, if you can believe it, you can do it. Thanks for watching. You guys know I appreciate it. And remember, folks, always, always treat people how you want to be treated, and everything will be okay. This is NBA Jerry, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.